There are many reasons why I pursue advanced studies in philosophy. One of them is that I've always appreciated the attitude of understanding before acting. I think that philosophy can provide the connecting thread that makes it easier to jump from one field of knowledge to another. Philosophy can provide, to a certain extent, the glue that holds everything together. It can help to handle a specialization without losing sight of the whole, and globalization without becoming paralyzed by the amount of information that we have access to. So in particular, philosophy can provide a point of connection and interaction to different types of knowledge when it comes to the subject that concerns us more deeply, who we are as persons. In my dissertation, I studied uh, what Aristotle had to say about metaphors. Basically, when we produce a metaphor, even if it's the first time, we are able to go beyond the standard meaning of the words and we create new meanings. A growing number of scholars realize then that a metaphor is not just a rhetorical tool, but that it is a cognitive device. And this is what has been called the contemporary theory of metaphor that basically defends that uh, metaphors are mainly cognitive. In my dissertation, I tried to prove not only that Aristotle's texts fully supported a cognitive understanding of metaphor, but also that in his views about the mind, and more specifically, in his idea of intellectual habits, we find the basis for an architecture of the mind, and in particular, a way of understanding metaphor as a cognitive device. And this was basically the kind of explanation that the contemporary theory of metaphor was seeking. What I like the most about teaching is to see the students enjoying what they are learning. This is usually manifested in their initiative to go beyond what is presented in the class and in their ability to connect what they learn to their topics of interest, expertise, or, or research. What do I like best about working at DSPT? So one of the things is the integration between philosophy and theology, which is something that um, I cannot do in other places. Uh, so here I can actually move in a very comfortable way uh, between philosophy and theology, and in a way that the students are also interested. So the students have that interest. They want to know how philosophy relates to theology and what can provide to theology. Thank you.